testing suit comm systems. Mark, do you hear me? Loud and clear, Sarah. Video is streaming clearly and recording too. Okay. This is 2nd Lieutenant Sarah Munez, assigned as the first exobiologist of UNSA Trappist mission. I'm verifying the lander's condition after a rough landing. Uh, Sarah, you're just gonna stand there on the ladder? Go check the ship and find out why communication with the orbiter is down. Oh, right. I'll go check. Just getting caught up in the moment. Okay, so this place is a cozy negative 45 degrees Celsius. Whoa, there's an atmosphere here. 4.8 pascals. Interesting. The orbiter recorded no sign of atmosphere at all. Yeah, on the surface. But we're not on the surface anymore. Telemetry reports all systems normal in your EVA suit. Turn on your suit's light to improve the video feed. Oh, right. Okay, landing pads are fine. Great, now the hull. Can you scan it for detailed analysis? Of course, beginning scan. Power supply. That could be the reason the orbital comms are down. No power for the antenna? Can you override it from another part of the ship? That's the plan. But I have to figure out if it's possible to do it from here. Give me a few minutes. You can continue your EVA, Lieutenant. Commencing exploration. There's a light coming from this cave. Oh, my... Mark, do you see what I'm looking at? Uh, what? Is that a... A plant! A complex organism! It's a living thing, Mark! I need to scan this. Okay, that's interesting. It's a very different composition from the plants and animals on Earth. Basically, where we have oxygen, they have nitrogen and ammonia. What does that mean? It means their body fluids or blood are alkaline. It would corrode my skin without the suit. Better not take any samples then. Your suit might be compromised. So, discovery is yours, Sarah. What are you gonna call it? Yes, this is my fern, the Munez fern. cave ceiling is breathing. I've never seen anything like this before. Wow. What is that? I guess it's a complex organism trapping the atmosphere under the surface, and also providing cover from the solar radiation of the trapped star. of little plants. They have pulsating bioluminescence. Maybe they use it to attract prey. Maybe. They don't appear to be dangerous, though. We should figure out what they react to. Did you see that? Seems like this little plant reacts to quick movement. Like a warning signal? What a strange defense mechanism. Perhaps it is communicating with something. I know the perfect name for it.
Apollo is the god of sun and light. Since it emits light when it hears a sound, I'm gonna call them the ears of Apollo. So the breathing ceiling is the lung of Apollo? Oh, Mark. I hoped you would have liked it. This plant has a high concentration of alkaline metals, like calcium and potassium in its outer layer. Almost like organic metal. I will call it the Shy Dancer Bell. <coughs> Why? Because it's always still, like a shy lover. But if you touch it, it dances. Oh, it reacts to touch. Interesting. Do all of them react like this? Same structure, but at different stage of growth. These plants grow while they age. Whoa, it's dripping. Be careful, Sarah. Look at these mushrooms. This is incredible. They grow so quickly. I've got to scan these. Not much carbon, but lots of calcium. They are exact opposite of the bells. Hmm, I wonder if they also react to touch. Ah! They explode and... What is that? Looks like spores. Yeah. Can you scan them? I can try. They aren't spores. They are calcium rich particles. No spores. So why'd the mushrooms explode? The plant produced an acidic component that feeds the mushrooms. The mushrooms explode producing a base component. So my first hypothesis is the mushrooms are feeding the bells. So they're the exploding feeding mushrooms. I guess you just named your first plant, Mark. What was that? What's happening, Sarah? with an intelligent creature. It saw me and reacted. Sarah, I didn't see it. What? I only saw nine seconds of static. What? They'll never believe me without a recording. I'm sorry, Sarah. remind me of clams. The way they close. How do they sense your presence? Light, sound, magnetism. It could be anything, but I can try a small experiment to figure it out. Sweet. So this plant reacts to sounds and vibrations. How do you know that? If it was reacting to light variation or magnetism, the plant would have closed itself when I came closer, slowly and silently. 
<laughs> Interesting. So what do you call this giant clam? Giant clam. Too common. Let's describe the function. Ear clam of Trappist. What do you think? How beautiful. Sarah, you are 150 meters away from the ship. What is this membrane? It seems like your walk is over. Very similar composition to the other plants. See? It's safe. Not a good idea, Sarah. Strange. This plant absorbs the radio waves of the scanner. So there's no way to scan it? Maybe if I touch it? to get off this now. Hup. Oh. Whoa, that was a ride. Mark? Mark, can you hear me? Great. I need to find a way back to the ship. has a very high concentration of ammonia in these red orbs. So, giant grape, thin body, the magnificent trappist, Magnus Fetus. Oops. They're heavy. Well, at least they seem juicy.
Bryant does not like the radiation of the scanner. is so strange. This creature seems similar to a plant from its composition, but... One wrong step could wake up these little babies. Same biological composition as the creatures that brought me here. These creatures are everywhere. They combine with other creatures, like they control them. This is their nest, and this is one of their babies. This is literally an acid pool. Anything that ends up here will dissolve within hours. But how is it possible that those tentacles don't melt? The tentacles aren't affected by the acidity of the pool because they're covered with a protective mucus. Now I have a hypothesis about how this creature works. Can it be like a queen in an insect society? This creature could be the dominant organism that produces the workers to sustain the colony. Sarah, come in. Lieutenant Munez, come in. Mark, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, yes. You won't believe where I ended up. This place is alive. How did you react to the communications? I'm talking to you from the first space suit. Wait, you went out? Yes, I, I was coming to look for you. Uh oh. What? There's a creature with claws. I didn't notice it before. Are they dangerous, Sarah? Yes, Mark! They're dangerous! Ah! Stay away from me! Mark! No! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
you still there? Olivia? The communications. Olivia, do you hear me? Yes! We, we hear you. You're alive. We can't see you? Where are you? Below the surface. It's complicated. Complicated? What do you mean? We can There's no time. Are you receiving my data? Yes. We're, we're, we're receiving. Oh, oh my. Captain Olivia, tell home we aren't alone anymore. What is happening, Lieutenant? We won't be coming. Mark is dead. So I'm stuck here. Goodbye, Captain. I have to see if I can hold.